Yes, everyone, totally enjoyed that show. Da, 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 da. Yes, guys, now I was watching some things on social media, right, where they say, like, well, uh, well yes, I was, I was messaging who I thought was Sarah Michelle Gellar, right, but, you know, when you're messaging someone like that, you don't know, obviously, if it's them or not, right? Their name was Sarah Michelle Gellar. I'm pretty sure it was just a fan of Sarah Michelle Gellar. They don't think it was her. I mean, not that she would have to follow me or anything. Maybe she doesn't like my channel, but I'm thinking she would because she's, like, so nice and... She just has, like, is always friends with people that are like, um, like she's friends with some of Blair and some of her has MS. She's friends with Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty has cancer. You know, she's a nice girl, right? And I'm very talented. I look great. I have confidence that if she didn't see me, she would like me, right? And she's such a sweet person, right? Because she's so nice to all kinds of people, right? Uh, but she's not, she has her husband. Her husband's great, you know, Freddie Prince Jr., all that, right? Anyway, um, so the person's like, I think. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. So it wasn't like the person did anything wrong. They didn't actually do anything wrong. But the next time I saw the videos, there was, and you could, I mean, it could be misinterpreted, right? I don't know if this is what was what they were trying to do. It might not. But I saw the videos next time, and it looked like Sarah Michelle Gellar had like this angry face. I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe she knows about me. I don't know, but I doubt it. And I mean, it could be misinterpreted. Maybe they didn't do anything on purpose, right? But anyway, it was like an angry face. That I looked through, it? But anyway, guys. Um, so yes, when you are when you are talking to people and you think they're celebrities or you think they're someone that you think I mean I have celebrities following me so it's not a big deal but but uh, that's why I'm confident that Sarah Michelle Gellar would like me but as a creator or content creator but yeah she's got a husband obviously but yeah um, and um, oh yeah you know what I mean anyway so so um, so yes so you know when you when you have and this and the problem with this it's not a big deal. When they're just when they're just saying no to your channel and they're not they're not subscribing and they do that because maybe that wasn't done on purpose but it's a, and I'm sure that wasn't done on purpose but anyway it's a big deal when celebrity types are trying to um, you know steal money I mean, like you hear about those scams you're like you hear about a scam I, I think Luke Bryan I there wasn't it, was, I, it wasn't a scam that I fell for but Luke Bryan was um, messaging me apparently. As I was trying to audition for America's Got or American Idol or America's Got Talent, I think, and then he was messaging me, but it wasn't really him, and he's asking for my credit card. I forget what the reason he gave, right? So I'm, I don't have a credit card, I have a card, right? So I was like, I was like, okay, I'm not obviously I'm not gonna show him, right? But I'm like, why would he need money, right? Like, why would he need money? He's a celebrity, right? Some sort of are broke, but. That's rare, right? So I'm like, and he's just, he's not American Idol, like he's doing very, very well. He's all, all over the place, but he sings, he does well, right? So I'm like, I'm like, obviously it's not him, right? But other people could get, fall for that kind of stuff, right? So just be careful out there. And the thing is, when you are talking to someone, you think they're a celebrity, they can fall for so many scams, like romance scams, etc., right? So just don't fall for any of these scams, right? Anyway, thank you guys. Bye now. Bye, everyone. Yes, darling, told you about